somewhere in southern Utah at the beginning of the worst blizzard in over 30 years. And to top it off, weather forecasts were calling for a low of minus 35 overnight. Believe it or not, we're following a snowplow. We decided to push off and keep traveling to Bryce Canyon, but it's been touch and go with weather and I don't know what we'd be doing if we were behind this snowplow because we can still barely see the road. So the actual reason why we got stuck in the first place is because the area that I wanted to camp was inaccessible due to the snow. So at some point we had to turn around on the road. Happy 25th anniversary! Good times. So as we kept driving away from Bryce Canyon, we had to make a decision to turn around. And there was not a lot of opportunities to do it. The snow on this turnaround didn't appear deep as we drove into it. Up. But it was the layer of ice underneath it that really caused the problems. <laughs> Alright, you see if this works, okay? We're gonna pull this out so I have complete wheel lock here, so. I need you to come over here. But I don't want you getting too close to the front of the truck, okay? You're gonna hit this, and this is gonna pull the thing. Inside the trailer, because I had to get some of the stuff from underneath our bed, I want you to be calm because it's a little messy and it might have messed up some of your stuff. Because you're so calm under pressure. I want you to be calm. Ah. With all my potential campsites on public land no longer an option, we stayed at the North Campground in Bryce Canyon National Park. If you're watching this video and you're new to my channel, my trailer is a complete DIY project that I started two years ago. It's very much still under construction inside, so when you see the interior, keep that in mind. That's the cap that comes off, and it's the chimney that goes in there. Despite the extreme cold weather, the trailer warms up easily with the wood stove. The fire does die down overnight, but we have very warm sleeping bags that we sleep in. Well, as you can imagine, once we got the trailer warmed up, we really didn't feel like filming a whole lot that night. It was nice to see the sun in the morning, but unfortunately, we still had extreme cold temperatures and extremely high wind gusts. In case you're wondering, this piece of plywood that looks like Swiss cheese is designed to slide underneath the mattress with the sleeping bag on it. So now we've just switched into our day mode and if I was camping by myself, that's where I'd be sleeping, where D is. 
underneath that trap door is all my cooking utensils. And under here is some uh, gear that's stored that we're going to access. And we're going to put up the lagoon table and we're going to have some breakfast. So under here, we store a few different things. That's the shower heater. And this is a EcoFlow uh, back, a backup battery, some more water, some propane tanks. But we're going to put up the table right now. Like I said, I don't take care of that. Try to make the most use of that storage space. This is the table that comes into here. And there. There we go. So that's our table. Eventually this top's going to have hinges, and, but right now this is what a temporary fix like a lot of trailers. So this also gives us a ton more storage with the table now, the storage here, and Dean and I can both sit up. She can sit there, and I can see here where she makes me coffee, and she makes me breakfast because she's the best wife in the world, and we can enjoy. And in case we haven't mentioned in this video, it's minus 31 outside right now. The window's completely frozen. The wind and snow has been howling all night. Um, we were not expecting this from uh, Southern Utah. We were hoping to hike in Bryce Canyon today. We'll see what we can do. It's, I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty limited. And the tragedy in all this is we forgot our snowshoes back in Canada because we thought we were going down south and we were not going to need them. So that kind of sucks. <laughs> Under here is my slide out kitchen, but I always wanted to access the stuff in there for days like this, right? So we open this up. This is the slide out kitchen. If I wanted to use the burner stove, this is a two burner stove. We could use that. So, and here we got utensils, induction. My wife likes chopped onions with her eggs, so we need a cutting board. Well, I couldn't wait to uh, to eat, so I'm almost done mine. But Dina's just starting her breakfast. I just wanted to show you how our setup is. Almost like an L-shaped uh, dining area. Table swings around. We can both eat comfortably. Look out the window when it's not frozen up. And enjoy the scenery. And the little storage thing, all the fry pans and stuff can just stay there while you're eating. And, um, you know, I think it really makes the best use of the space we got here. So... I just wanted to show you that. After we have breakfast, we're going to pack up, try to drag Eddie out of here, and then we're going to go try to explore Bryce Canyon. I've been outside. It's crazy windy. It's clearing up, though. There's uh, The sun's out. Um, so if we can tolerate the wind, we might try to get down in the canyon and do some hikes and show you a little bit of that. All right, we're getting ready to head out. Got the chimney down. Um, so this is a winter campground in Bryce. So the plows came through the street, but uh, we might be plowed in here. So I think I'm good through these footprints. These are my footprints here. We are going downhill, so I might have some momentum to crash through the snowbank.
Well, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be for Bryce Canyon. We got out and went to Sunrise Point and, uh, just to see the canyon. We've never been here before, but the wind gusts are 60 kilometers an hour right now, and that kind of takes the joy out of it. So the forecast for Zion looks much better, and uh, Dina has to fly out on Saturday, and today's Wednesday. So we're going to go drive to Zion, set up camp, and we're uh, going to hopefully make the most of that. And uh, my lovely wife has to hop on a plane and leave me on my own.